Hello then, welcome to the show. Now, if you remember the last episode, I had uh, Dr. Ahmad on the show, and uh, he was from Syria, and he spoke to us about the situation in Syria and the war torn Syria, as I've been mentioning. And uh, when he came to visit us at Dean TV, he brought along some other guests, and one of those guests was Sheikh Saad, and he's from Lebanon originally, now based in Saudi Arabia. He's a business developer and is in semi retirement, but he has a story to tell, and that story is that. He's planning to help change the world with Gift of the Givers and some of the humanitarian aid that's required in places like Lebanon. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Now, just brief, I know that we met briefly and we started talking a bit about you coming from Lebanon, then moving to Saudi Arabia. Yes. And now being in retirement or semi-retirement, uh, you want to give back some of your time, knowing the situation in places like Syria and Lebanon and, and the humanitarian aspects that are needed in these regions. You want to give back your time and get organizations like Gift of the Givers to also focus on Lebanon. Uh, tell us a bit about that story. Yes, sure. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you for having me on, on, yeah. on this program. Well, as, as you may know, you know, the situation in the Middle East has been this, in this in troubles years and years. And because of the conflict in Lebanon, I had to go to Saudi Arabia and you know, just for work. I went there as an engineer and then I work in business uh, for the last five, 15 years. I, um, I decided to go back to Lebanon uh, as for retirement. My family is there. But again, you see, uh, because of the Syrian crisis now, there is a lot of refugees coming to Lebanon. And really, they are into a misery. So I met a, an organization there. It's called Al -Ittihad, Jamiyat Al Ittihad Al Islami. And I talked to them, and uh, I proposed that I can help them probably to go outside the country, and probably we can get some donations to those refugees. Because the situation in Lebanon is really critical. Lebanon is a small country. We are 4.5 million. Uh, the surface of Lebanon is around 10,000 uh, square kilometers, while Syria is 185,000 kilometers, and uh, the population is around 25 million. <coughs> there is 2 million refugee, Syrian refugee displaced, came to Lebanon. And this is a really... In, in such a small space. In such a small place. Two yeah. million. Two million. That's a big it number. Means, it means if you, if you walk in the street between five people, there's one Syrian. And you can't kind of stick your hands out because you're going to touch somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, the problem is there's a lot of poor people coming. They cannot stay in their countries, in their villages uh, because of the bombardment, because of the fight over there. They came to Lebanon with their children, with their families. By the way, uh, we have another problem. Uh, it's about the students, the Syrian students. There's around 450,000 students. Only 50,000 50, of them go to school. So there's 50, another 50,000. Imagine there's around four, 400,000 students sitting in the streets. They are not doing anything. Probably uh, they become criminal later on. So that's what I was about to ask you. What's going to happen with their futures? Exactly. That's what uh, uh, the goal of this uh, organization is to help those uh, refugees. First of all, to find them shelters. Second, to help them because now it's snowing in, in Lebanon, even in Syria. So we have to help them to get uh, heaters, to have shelters, to have clothes, to have foods, babies, they need diapers. They need. So all this kind of, uh, of help, uh, we are providing them. But again, you see, uh, we, are, we are short in resources. Of course. Uh, and uh, because of the conflict, the political conflict in, in Lebanon, the government couldn't uh, build uh, refugee camps as other countries has done, like Jordan or Turkey. So those people li live in, in, in a vast area. In, 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 it's, it's really a disaster for them. Correct. So, so looking at that situation, was it you looking at that situation 
that has attracted your attention to try and find somebody like Gift of the Givers to come in there and, and do what they normally do. Because Gift of the Givers in South Africa and Dr. Intia Suleiman is one of those organizations that has their finger everywhere and they're doing tremendous work around the world. And you've probably seen that and decided you need to come to Lebanon. Alhamdulillah, there's some such organizations, such people who really care for, for their uh, uh, for their brother in, in, in such areas. Uh, really, and I heard about this uh, success story, I will call it, mm. what uh, gifts uh, of the givers have done in Syria with the uh, Rahma Hospital. And uh, I'd like to urge uh, all the organizations in South Africa to go and see what's going on in Lebanon, how we can solve this problem with the refugees, with the giving them shelter, probably we can build them some medical centers, some schools, some... Uh, so we, we, the, the purpose of this visit to South Africa is just to get known by our brothers. And, and to highlight that situation, you know, we need to bring something to our viewers' attention, and that is that we are South African, uh, you are Lebanese, and we had some Syrian guests, for exactly. example, but in the end of the day, when we're talking about humanitarian aspects and humanitarian aid, people are people, and people that are injured are injured people. Sick people are sick people, and children are children, and old people are old people. That's right. And this is where the word humanitarian comes in. Humanitarianism does not see any boundaries in terms of Lebanese, South African, Syrian, American, whatever it might be. If somebody's suffering, they are suffering, and they need our attention. Exactly. That's the right message to, to, you know, to spread all over. Yes. Uh, how do you see the situation going forward in Syria? Uh, sorry, in Lebanon. Uh, you, note, you noted to us that the situation is a dire situation also. And a lot of the Middle Eastern countries are experiencing very similar situations at this point in time. Yeah. Maybe because of political influence, whatever they may be, is one aspect. Whatever the reasons are, is a different story altogether. Our focus right now is to deal with the actual problem on the ground. How do you see that going forward? Is there solutions at hand? Well, frankly speaking, I believe it's getting more complicated. There's many uh, parts get involved, getting involved in it. And I don't see there's a, any foreseen solution for that. I think the war will, st will, will, continue. will, will, continue, will, will continue. And uh, But again, we cannot sit aside and do nothing. We have to do our job towards our uh, brothers in Syria. We have to help them. We cannot, even under, under the war and under such conditions, we have to do our job. So this is a decision we have taken uh, because uh, all, 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 air, all the countries in the area are getting involved in that war. It's not only Syria. Even there is no fight in Lebanon, but there's a, a big conflict about what's happening in, in Syria. I think other countries have the same thing. So we yani, pray that uh, the war will, st will, will, will end and the Syrian goes back to their countries. But again, I'm not that, uh, I'm a little bit pessimistic because nothing, yani, uh, I don't see any solution has been already uh, achieved. Shusa, looking at people like yourself that are not based in Lebanon itself, but perhaps like you are based in Saudi Arabia now. But I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go back for good. Yes. I'm, I'm planning to go back for good. That's interesting, but do you, do you believe that being positioned outside of the country, that you are maybe more better positioned to help people inside by doing what you are doing right now? Uh, exactly, exactly. I, I want to I move back to Lebanon, uh, but I'll be traveling around, I'll be traveling to other countries to uh, expose the situation, tell them what's happening there, because we need uh, other countries to uh, get involved in it. Yes. And, and uh, 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 it's very admirable of you to be doing what you're doing. You. Um, being on the interview with me today, um, normally I chat about all kinds of things every day, but having someone like you taking the story of your country around the world is something interesting because you are telling our viewers today about a situation that we were not too sure about, or we just didn't know about it. We get stuck in our lives and we're just not sure what goes on around the world. We read things. We're just not sure. And to have someone come from the situation itself and speak to us on TV and tell us exactly what's happening is very interesting to our viewers because 
I know that they are definitely going to be leading up and looking at the, at the situation in Lebanon and seeing how we can assist. I'm not sure how that is right now, but, but the, the, the important thing is for you to get out there and say, this is the situation. How can you guys help? Well, frankly speaking, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't planning to come to South Africa. I was planning to go probably to the uh, uh, countries around uh, in the Middle East. But when I heard about gifts, uh, givers, it gave me the push to come to South Africa because I really, I'm really proud of uh, our brother here in South Africa. And uh, I think it's a, it's a story that I can build on it. I'm 100% sure Dr. Imtia Suleiman is watching the show and he's going to be saying that he's going to have to get involved because you didn't have let you come all the way to South Africa for nothing. We just know the type of person that he is. He's been helping the world in what they do. I know that uh, I stand under correction, but I know that sometime our own state president, Jacob Zuma, um, actually uh, contacts him for assistance in certain areas and deals with certain charities with him. So I'm sure that he's going to heed to your call and assist Lebanon, like he's assisting many other countries. Yeah. I know he's involved everywhere, from India, Pakistan, everywhere. Alhamdulillah. Well, really, Do you have a special message to him? Well, I, what I want to say that we should be close more and more, that we, we should know each other more. Probably visiting us, visiting you more uh, later on. Uh, this is what makes people know each other more. They will understand the other cause. That's what I want to say. Do you, have, do you have a message and a call to all South Africans about your, about your message? Well, uh, what I wanted to tell them that uh, the people or the people of Lebanon and Syria and the Middle East appreciate what the South African has done uh, and stand uh, alone with the uh, Syrian uh, crisis and uh, we'd like them to uh, i like to thank them and i like to uh, let them know more about us probably they are listening to other side they are listening there's terrorism or anything like that. no we we are against that kind of terrorism we don't uh, approve it we don't believe in it we are different totally against it we don't belong to them, and they don't be belong to us. Some innocent people sitting down there that are being painted with the same brush because of some other people that are doing exactly. the wrong thing in the world, yeah. under the wrong banner. Yes. Sheikh Sir, thank you for joining me. I, I have to thank you, and I have to thank uh, South African people and government. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Sheikh Sir, uh, based now in Saudi Arabia, uh, previously or still from Lebanon going back there soon telling us about the situation in Lebanon and I think it's important that you as our viewers sit back today knowing that he's brought the message from Lebanon as to the situation down there that you actually Google, Google this information open your PC do some research look at the situation then see how you can help until next time thank you for joining us let's make a difference goodbye <laughs>